Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to League One Predictions. Um, obviously the move points just finished uh, for League One. Um, there's a few results that didn't quite go to plan as obviously a team that did not play. Um, but anyway, let's get down to it guys. This video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. Anyway, some of the links, more of the down in the description below. So guys, feel free to check it out after watching this video. Um, but as I said, a lot to talk about, so I want to get straight down to it. So guys, you know what I do, so guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Accrington Stanley versus Lincoln. Um, Lincoln drawing one near, uh, yeah, drawing one one at home to MK Dons. MK Dons have not got a game this weekend. I guess they're supposed to be playing Barry. Um, on the Lincoln point of view, that point could be vital. Um, thirty eight points. They're fifteen points off the relegation zone, so I really think they're safe. Um, on the MK Don's perspective. Yeah, I think I still got a bit more work, so they're only 10 points clear of the relegation zone. But anyway, let's go over to the Akrika Stanley result. Um, Akrika Stanley beat Shrewsbury 2 0 away from home. A big three points that could be for Akrika 2 come the end of the season. Um, Akrika 2 on 38 points, picks up 7 points from their last 5 games. Uh, Lincoln only picked up the point from their last 5 games. So the confidence size is. It's very much going to be on the Accrington side. So I'm going to go for a 2-0 Accrington win. My next one is Bolton Wanderers versus Wickham Wanderers. Um, Bolton losing 2-1 away to Doncaster. Speaking of Bolton, um, they still have got a few games in hand. But their points margin looks massive now. Um, they're 18 points. Uh, for, from safety and that's with Wimbledon sitting on 29. Wimbledon could still pick up points before Bolton play our next game in hand. Um, Wickham Wonders doing every, well, well well better than Bolton. No disrespect to Bolton. I know you had a 12 point deduction coming in at the uh, start of the season. Um, but Wickham Wonders sitting on 53 points pick up 6 points at the last 5. Bolton and picked up four points out of the last five, so that's not a bad stat if you think about it. Um, let's just go to talk about the Wickham result. Um, Wickham losing 1 0 at home to Fleetwood Town. A bit of a disappointment there for uh, Wickham, um, but great three points for Fleetwood Town. Um, as far as this game goes, I'm going to I'll actually call it a bit of a surprise, actually. I'm going to go for a Bolton win. And I'm going to go for a 3-1 Bolton win. My next one is Bristol Rovers versus Blackpool. Blackpool losing 3-2 at home to Gillingham. Um, bit of a disappointing day for Blackpool there. Bristol Rovers had a really disappointing day and drawing away to Tramia. Um I know Bristol Rovers were... You know, flying at one point this season. That's only their third point out of five games. So Bristol Rovers are really are on a bit of a down on them at the minute. Um, Blackpool, you know, only picked up three points in their last five as well. Yeah, this game, I think, has got to be a draw. I think it's got a draw written all over it. And I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Fleetwood versus Peaceborough. Um, Fleetwood beating Wick Wonders 1 0 away from home. Peterborough beating Southend 4 0 at home. Great result for Peterborough. Puts up all 53 points and gives them a maximum of 15 points out of their last five games. Fleetwood, you know, do it slightly better. Um, well, not better, but I have got uh, 11 points out of their last five games. This game, I can only see it going one way. And I'm going to give it to Peterborough. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Peterborough win. My next one is Gillingham versus Doncaster. Um, Gillingham beating Blackpool 3-2 away from home. Great result for Gillingham there. Uh, I'll speak more about that in a minute. Doncaster over is beating Bolton Wanderers 2-1 at home. 
Um, gin, I think that's a big three points for Gin. Um, currently sitting at 11, nine points out of their last five games. Um, Doncaster, you know, sitting in eighth place, two points out of the uh, playoff places at, at this minute in time and 10 points out of the last five games. I think that win um, against Bolton is going to help Doncaster win this game and I'll go for a 1-0 Doncaster win. My next one is Ittridge versus Burton Albion. Um, Burton Albion drawing 2-2 at home to Oxford United. Bit of a... Um, You know, disappointing day for Burton Albion. Um, Ittridge drawing nil nil away to Wimbledon, and definitely a disappointing day for Ittridge there. Um, Ittridge currently sitting a point out of the playoff. They've only picked up four points out of their last five games. Um, Burton Albion um, only picked up four points out of their last five games. They've not won a game in their last five. I think Ittridge needs to win this game, and I'm going to predict him to do that, and I'm going to go for a 2 0 Ittridge win. My next one is Oxford United versus Sunderland. Um, Oxford United drawing 2 2 away to Burton Albion. Sunderland beating Watchdale 3 0 at home. Um, great three points for Sunderland. Uh, let's go over to the form table. Um, some of them look actually in the playoffs at this present time, picking up 10 points out of their last five games. Oxford pick, only picking up six points out of their last five games. Um, Oxford have not won in the last two games, so I'm going to give this game to some of them, and I think it's going to be a very tough. But I think some of them are just going to edge it with a 2 1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Portsmouth versus Shrewsbury. Um, Shrewsbury losing 2 0 at home to Accrington Stanley. Portsmouth losing 1 0 away from home to Coventry. If I was a Portsmouth fan, I probably wouldn't be too downhearted with that um, result there. Um, Portsmouth are currently on 50 points. Picking up 12 points out of the last five games. Um, Shrewsbury, uh, you know, only picking up two points out of the last five games. Um, so I'm going to go for a Portsmouth win and I'm going to go for a 3 1 Portsmouth win. My next one is Rochdale versus Tramier. Um, Tramier drawing 0 0 at home to Bristol Rovers. Um, Watchdale losing 3 0 away to Sunderland. I think, let's just go over to the form table quickly. It's a big point for Tranio. Um, but that point, I think Tranio is just going to edge out another draw against Watchdale, who've only picked up five points in their last five games. And I'll go for a 1 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Rotherham versus Wimbledon. Um, Wimbledon drawing 0-0 at home to Richridge. Big three points. Uh, big point um, for Wimbledon there. Um, Rotherham did not play. Let's go over to Wimbledon's form table. Picking up five points out of the last five games. Rotherham picking up 12 points out of the last five games. I think that week or day, whatever you want to call it, is going to do Wolverham some good. And I'm going to go for a 3 now Wolverham win. My last one is Southend versus Coventry. Um, Coventry beating Portsmouth 1 0 at home. I know I'm not playing at home. Um, Southend loses 4 0 away to Peter Arthur. I'd be very surprised if Coventry don't make it back up to the championship next season. I, there's a few teams I think could do it, but Coventry's one of them that, if they don't, I'd be surprised, but obviously still a long way to go. 
Um, so we're going to have to wait and see to see where they finish up. Maybe automatic, maybe playoffs. And we know playoffs ain't easy. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 3 1 Coventry City win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. You're a big fat fan, you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for